And here we have the first crate for the Legion of Collectors from DC. Now going for it. Uh, counter or opposed to the Marvel Collectors course been going about a year now. So this goes every other month of that. So if you subscribe to both like I do, you'll get a Legion Collectors every month and then the Marvel crate every other month from that so you'll get alternation so this month of March will be Batman vs Superman in preparation for the Batman vs Superman movie coming out at the end of the month so uh, my box has gotten a bit of damage from here I don't know what the hell that's from but it is also powered by Funko and made in the US of A so let's open this bad boy up. If it's like the Marvel Collector's Core, then it will have a badge and a pin, along with a t-shirt, comic book, and some other items. Yeah. Yes. So you can see, unlike the Marvel, which takes from comic books, it takes from a select image of it, so this is Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, and it repeats on the top and the bottom. It appears that the pin has gotten out, and so here we have this on the Superman Legion of Collectors. Superman Legions of Collectors, and it's pretty cool that it's Superman, first off, since it was, yeah, it busted out of the thing here. Oh, let's try to put that back in. And here we have the Wonder Woman Legion of Collectors uh, badge. So it's good that Superman is the first pin because it is he who becomes the future leader of the Legion of Superheroes that start because of Superman. Basically opens the same thing as the box in here is the light blue. I'm saying it's light blue t shirt that is about Batman vs. Superman. And let's see what it is. You're the Funko Large with the Batman v Superman logo on it. Ooh, and this is kind of like the Age of Ultron blue crate or uh, Marvel Collector Core in which it has Batman and Superman in an old timey fight. This is Spanish. La Cabrero de la Noche versus El Hombre de Azoro. Uh, 25 de Marza 2016. Ablin el Robin y le Ruja Maravilla Feliz e la la Vente Exclusiva de Metropolis y Ciudad Cothica Presentor por Industrias Wayne Then El Vivo Then Vien e Villa Particular del Sigo Descripto Quinn Isabel Ya kerto her se. So I don't know what that means in Spanish, but it is basically Batman vs. Superman title fight, and it's pretty cool. There's two things here. Oh, here is the exclusive DC Legion of Collectors Pop Heroes Batman vs. Superman. This is the Armored Batman final figure. And so in the regular here, you should get Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Armored Batman, which we have here, Nightmare Batman, and Superman Soldier. So I don't know what makes this exclusive if there's already a regular version. Oh, I see. In... 
the official version, it's all gray, but in here there are some gold highlights, so I will show you. It's cool. That is head movement, obviously. Cool. Cape is a dull greenish tent color, I guess. Uh, gray, black accents on knee pads. Here are the golden parts stand out. Uh, the claws, the hand guards, the fingers, the belt is the most obvious one. Um, the claws on the boots, lines on the boots here. So it pops out a bit more. As all fungo pops, they have no mouth. Get definition of the face. This is pretty cool. And there's another one in here. This is cool. Let me bring out the comic book. First of all. Just stuck on here. And you can see that unlike the Marvel one, this one just repeats the same designs repeatedly. So here is ooh, Batman Superman number 5 from DC Comics, the Legions of Collective exclusive um, cover. And here is Batman Superman in their new 52-ish designs. I don't know which design it is. Batman has the cowled, pointed shoulders. Uh, Superman still has that Jim Lee armory look to it, although it's... Both of these look more fabric-y. There's still a bunch of lines. Uh, lines everywhere. And here is the <laughs> awesomest part. The exclusive Batman and Aquaman Dorbs figures. A vinyl collector, so this is Aquaman in Aqua Blue and uh, Superman in Krypton Green. That's all I can think about. So it shows each side shows that, and you see the back as with all of them. Let me open the top. Bop, 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 bop. And it's another clamshell packaging. It's always easy to get off. I would say that Aquaman is more hefty than Superman here. So here we have head movement for both of them. The trident will get in the way if you try to make him look to his right. Non-movable of course like the other. His hair Unkept and messy. Pretty nice. See, he has little beauty marks here from Jason Momoa. Stray strand of hair in front of him. Superman. Snow S. Curl. It's pretty cool. You can see the Man of Steel slash. Batman vs. Superman suit aesthetics on here, the little bit of detail they have here. And if you turn to the right, you can see his armor costume would look like. This is basically the shirtless version we saw earlier in the promo pictures. So, these are super cool. I cannot Oops. show them. These guys, comic book. It's a good start, but it's a little bit bare. Uh, though, if you want more stuff, I guess you just go for regular crate. And well, if you're a fanboy for DC, this is the obviously definite uh, thing to get to get the exclusive item and whatnot. So this is mostly see that. I have no idea what. What? No, uh, not April. That's for Marvel. Um, Maze. I have no idea what Maze is. I think it's going to be an individual. 
No, I know what maze is. It's uh, TV, so it'll be Arrow and Flash and Supergirl. Yeah, those are the three TV shows that come to my mind. But the cover uh, will be Arrows. So, TV, Spectacular. So check that in two months. Check out next month's um, Marvel Collector's Core Crate. I don't remember what that thing will be either. It'll come to me somehow. No. But anyway, uh, check out my Loot Crate unboxes, which comes out about every month. Um, which I would do every month. And my uh, tour reviews and other videos. So, see you guys later.